And, and during that period, as we just mentioned, it was a uh, it was a strange time in, in wrestling. Vince was coming off that the big steroid trial, uh, or was embroiled yeah. in it. Uh, you know, at that point, I don't know when you first got there, but um, and, and the business, yeah. yeah, and the business across the board. I mean, I remember before I left, it was kind of they were cutting, you know, cutting everywhere, and I remember they I remember they took the the uh, water cooler out of the, uh, you know, one of the, the cafeteria, the eating areas. I'm like, geez, things are <laughs> getting a little, you know, what's next? But, yeah. uh, but it was, it was yeah. a, it was a, you know, like you said, it's cyclical and, uh, but it was, people were wondering like, what's going to happen next? You know, Vince was even going to be a, a, at the building. And, right. uh, but did you really notice it at the time? I mean, uh, you didn't know what, what business was roaring. So uh, they just kept moving forward. And when did you see it start to turn? Because, yeah, and you, you left right as kind of the attitude era was beginning to take off. So what, what about yeah. that period that you were there? Well, the, the thing I remember mostly was, was that Linda was day-to-day -day running things. Yeah. Um, at, at when Vince was, you know, going through the trial, and, and she was just stoic. I mean, she was amazing. And, and we all, you know, it's like a family. So... Right, we right. felt like they were going after our dad, you know, and, and that was, it was personal. So mm -hmm. everybody there was, was even closer than, than, you know, I think ever. Um, and especially going through the, the WCW times, it was, it was very strange for a couple of years where you yeah. weren't certain, you know, and there were, uh, if you remember, Sean, there were all the, the promos and the, you know, attacking each other and back and forth. It, it was a cool time to be there, but it was also strange because you never knew what mode you were going to be in or what direction you were taking uh, yeah. from week to week. It could really change that quickly, depending upon what Dave Sahadi dreamed up in the edit bay. Yeah. Um, you know, just a genius editing. Uh, but but you never knew whether you were going on the attack, whether you were laying back, whether you know what what matches you were pushing for what reason. Um, but it was it was a really strange time. It, but yeah. learned a lot, and and I think you know being somewhere for and I think that could be considered a, a downturn um, because after that, as you said, with the new attitude era and things really took off and you know my claim to fame is whenever things get really successful they get rid of me which is <laughs> I, uh, go, I go away yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so yeah it was uh interesting but you you know you were there though at a at a, at a time and and i i wonder if you remember uh you know you had uh Dwayne, a guy named Dwayne johnson and uh steve austin yeah. who really hadn't found their place yet and and really, I mean, it, I mean, struggling uh, to find their way. Do you uh, remember uh, looking back and saying, eh, "This guy might have something." This uh, this rock guy who wasn't the rock uh, at that point, or you know, Rocky Maivia. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Um, there were there were guys that you knew were sort of destined for yeah. for that kind of thing, but. But it, that, that was sort of one of my claims to fame where I was I'm actually the answer in a Trivial Pursuit game. Who was the first one to interview The Rock um, when he made his appearance not as The Rock? But, yeah, he was, um, uh, as you know, too, a, a, just a quiet, sort of uh, calm dude mm -hmm. who exploded and became, mm -hmm. you know, one of the biggest stars on the planet. Um, but during that same time, we had characters like gold dust where right. you were like, what is going on? <laughs> like where, that's what I mean. Like, where yeah. are we going? Here? Yeah. yeah. You know, what are we doing? With, but see, that was the brilliance of Vince. He was so ahead of where the rest of the world was going. He was, he was clearly 10 years ahead on everything he did. And then it all caught up at once, and that's when it blew up again. Um, it, 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 was, it was amazing to watch because the dichotomy of char the characters with the new, number of new characters. You know, you remember Doink? I mean, Oh, yeah, I, I love Doink. And Dink. 
you yeah. know, and it's like, really, who, who can Vince could do that? That's, that's who could get away with that. Because, yeah. And then here comes gold. Yeah. And then, you, you know, and I remember doing the slamming and, and I did a, you know, like a parody song and I had no idea how that was going to go over. Cause it, you know, it pushed the line. And that's when we were starting to get a little more attitude and get a little more aggressive, but it was, um, and again, I, that's Vince. I mean, he saw the whole board, man. He just, I wouldn't play battleship with him because he'd know where your ship is like in one move. Yeah. Hey, when I tell you, I did want, I wanted to mention that. And I'm glad you did that, that slammy awards performance. I loved it. I, did you write that? Because I, it, it should get a lot more credit that it's, that it's received. Well, thank you. But well, no, yeah, I mean, really it was, sort of it was what I did. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you know, I stuff. did parody songs my whole career on the radio. Yeah. So when they yeah. asked me to, so can you put something together? I said, well, can I do like a, you know, because the Academy Awards when Billy Crystal was doing it, it was always, yeah. remember he do these parodies featuring yeah. all the movies. So I said, it'd be great to do that for the Slammies. Um, but, you know, I was terrified because I had no idea the reaction. None of them knew the material before. Um, yeah. And I took some shots, you know, it was, it was, it was not, you know, very tough. Oh yeah. The, was, the triple H in China, that was, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and the, I don't know if that was a shoot when she that that look that death glare she gave you, 